Well, he's better than me. But Jaden and Chase, they have met the fans, they know what really I go on. Blessings Nation, and now welcome to the channel. Yeah, man, I'm Jaden Chase. Another one that we're going to bring on another reasoning on the topic of current affairs. So, if you're new to the channel, well, I'm suggesting that you click the subscribe icon and, of course, let your voice be heard. Like and share the video, and yes, drop a comment in the comment section. And now, let's get right into the reasoning. Now, Nation, in a controversial move by the state, now it is said that a state minister asked for the removal of L.A. Lewis before he was allowed to speak to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and allowed to expose the state. It is also said that the Maroon Chief was also not invited to the event. Well, maybe, just maybe, there is another scheduled visit in which they will visit the Maroon Town. I am going to hear from L.A. Lewis and then we will continue the reason nation. Look and listen. Tell me what you think in the comment section. You turned up for what reason, Mr. Lewis? Well, the first thing, you know, um, we turned up to come see what is going on at my home because I was born and bred and grew here in a shanty town, otherwise in a strange town. Mm -hmm. But I was rudely disrespected by um, Olivia Bantu Grange because when the, the British and the European press and media, as well as IRFM and the other press and media came to see me, Bob the Grange literally come out and tell him say, not to interview L.A. Lewis and for put me out of the place because I'm a maroon. Now, this is my yard where I born and grow. And if you go over there, you see people from Waterhouse, you see Shelley and Fraser from all over. So why Bob the Grange now want to embarrass the maroon emperor? You understand? Remember, I represent Trench Town. I represent Trench Town, right? Serfo. Yeah. So, so I... So I have to show respect and, and I came from over there. Then just send a certain police inspector for say they for put me out of my yard. But my bad and grow because I'm a maroon. Now what maroon have to do with a lot of people over there. It's a public event, right my people? Yes. So why you want to put out the maroon emperor? You understand? So Bob the Grange will lose off here. Even Ali Matt now will tell, tell her to allow him. She was sent for the Honorable George family. So you're family. here to see the Royal couple. Yeah, we're here to see the Royal family. But remember, I was the one who met him father. I was the one who met his mother. Okay. Yes, son. And I met with all the Queen Elizabeth right on this her ground. Sit here, go ahead on my phone and go for the picture of them. Yes, son. So, back in the days. Would you like to speak to the prince? Huh? Would you like to speak to the prince? No, nothing would be wrong to speak to the prince now because, yes, it's royalty and royalty. He's a European um, prince and I'm the... Jamaica Emperor, right Maroon Emperor, yes, yes. Maroon yes. Government, yes. Trenchtown yes. Legend. Yes. 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 No nation, L.A. Lewis, eh, the MP, decided that this was going to be turned into a spectacle about L.A. Lewis. Which, truth be told, we never see any like him and make it about him. Him the same glad for say, say them fouled out here. Him the same wasn't even there for have no conversations or anything like that. He just did it in support of the people and the visit overall. He said, remember, he meet the Queen already. And for those who don't know the story, he said that L.A. Lewis was knighted by Queen Elizabeth. Knighted when they put the, the sword upon the two shoulders of the man. You know what I mean? Very ceremonial and it have it a title that goes along with it. And that's something where L.A. Lewis always quick for point out. So I'm saying wasn't there to create no form of spectacle. I guess the entertainment minister was not leaving anything to chance. And separate and apart from our security, I will leave MI6 agent in the crowd. Somebody may can even pick them out. But talk to me nation, tell me if you feel like it was a hidden motive to why they never want L.A. Lewis there. As the say, as the interview started, you know, different, different media houses followed him at the venue. And them see him. And of course, even one of them people they were outspoken. And also, somebody who asked that about England. And his association to the monarchy. So of course, media houses want to interview him. People even look forward to see a conversation. This are people do. He never say him go there about this. People genuinely that look for see what the interaction would be like when the Duke and the Duchess see him. If them they recognize him and say, LA, what's going on? You know what I mean? 
what would the reception be? I'm a guarantee you, if they need meat, and if it did look in any way, shape, or form, like them did know each other prior to this meeting, like them see each other on a regular basis, it would have been more clout than L.A. Lewis could have even dream of. True be told, I don't feel like it goes so deep. If it is true, and the minister did ask for him to be removed, maybe it was for some other reasons. Maybe the individuals who removed Lewis, the officers and all of who chose to do that, maybe them do it out of their own motives. Maybe they them just say, oh, we are move up all the people who just feel like, say, they have to create some form of excitement, you know what I mean? Uh, create some form of spectacle. And that's what I say, right, L.A. Lewis definitely somebody who people are going to look forward to see. Theme interaction with the Duke and the Duchess. You know, maybe we need to... Ray, was that fear though? Or was that in some way, shape or form? I live that discrimination. If you need it, eh? And he never did nothing wrong. And people go out of the way for him barred from even seeing the Duke and the Duchess, then it's a level of discrimination. We have to talk about it. Now, some are also saying the Maroon Chief was not in attendance. And why was that? Well, keep in mind, it's unclear if the Duke and the Duchess will be leaving the island later on this afternoon. They have some other stops. I think they have Belize and I think they have Bahama. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know they have Belize though. They have Belize and another um, Caribbean country. They have to stop. So maybe there is a next scheduled meeting where the Maroon chief will be invited and just some kind of discussion will be had. It is also said that the Duke and the Duchess will be speaking with the Prime Minister. And his wife. So, you know, that probably will happen later on. Maybe the Maroon Troop chief will be invited to that. You never know. And for all of us, maybe the Maroon chief declined to visit. Keep in mind, the sovereignty that stands with the Maroons and their territories date back to agreements with the British monarchy. Yes, it's a binding agreement agreement that stands with the British monarchy, not with Jamaica's government, but prior to its, its, its establishment. So them and the Queen of the thing they go in. So I don't feel like it would have declined any form of meeting with the Duke and the Duchess. And even if them is invited to the Ville Royal for a reasoning. I see no reason why I would not attend. You know what I mean? And that'd be a good time for discuss certain things that we see that take place even with the government and even with the Maroons. So that some lines can be drawn and some people can know side. This is where the agreement stands. And this is how enough I can look on yourself going forward. Because keep in mind, what would happen? to the Maroons if let's say Jamaica becomes a republic will the treaty or the articles in our constitution still stand that makes the Maroons quote unquote independent or would something change talk to me I don't know what would be the legal stance on that but I've got to do some research, man. But if you know, tell me in the comment section. Definitely something interesting and something that I doubt most Jamaicans have thought of. If Jamaica becomes a republic, are maroon lands still sovereign to the maroons? How will a new treaty need to be drafted between them and the Jamaican state? Definitely food for thought. Talk to me in the comment section. You know the sentiments and for those who don't. Well, first and foremost, I hope when you click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon, I'm going to put it on all. 
And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and boss and share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them to check out change good reasoning and join the discussion. Now until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours is of course for now live, love and prosper and for now stay tuned. Remember, comment, like the video, share the video. You know something go until the reason again, live, love and prosper and stay tuned.